From spectral schooners skirting the straits they purportedly sank in centuries past, to phantom galleons and skeletal pirates protecting long-hidden treasure never spent, are you ready to brave our third list of picks for five real ghost ships from across the globe? Number 5. The Phantom Canoe of Lake Tarawera the legend of the phantom canoe of Lake Tarawera tells the story of how a ghostly canoe was sighted over Lake Tarawera just 11 days preceding the eruption of Mount Tarawera on the North Island of New Zealand in June of 1886 and of how locals considered it a missed omen of the impending disaster. This tale would be immortalized shortly after in Kenneth Watkins' 1888 painting, The Phantom Canoe, A Legend of Lake Tarawera. Chillingly, the story of the Phantom Canoe is supported by a number of eyewitness accounts and a range of documentation, including its encountering by a group of tourists and Maori guides who sighted what they thought was an old war canoe drift past them only to disappear into the mists. Strangely, it's written that no one around the lake at this time owned such a canoe, and the fact that it appeared to be from a time long since past would even lead to the later speculation that it may not have been a ghostly vessel at all, but an actual old war canoe, or possibly a burial canoe, that was previously trapped beneath the water and was released by pre-eruption fishers. Sadly, shortly after midnight on June 10th of 1886, massive tremors would be felt through the region, and before the sun had even risen, Mount Tarawera's three peaks would have erupted, sending rivers of lava and sludge into surrounding villages. Damage to the local communities was severe and resulted in an estimated 120 to 150 fatalities, marking the deadliest eruption in New Zealand's history, with ensuing ash clouds blanketing entire villages, including Te Wairoa. Through the 20th century, excavations of the area were started. Following World War II, the uncovered Te Wairoa would be transformed into the buried village attraction, and work on the site has persisted up into more recent times. While skeptics maintain the phantom craft sighted so long ago was nothing more than a reflection on the mist or an actual physical canoe, Te Wairoa elders disagree, telling that it was actually a Waka Wairua, or a spirit canoe, acting as a signal of looming disaster, and some claim this canoe might just make another appearance before the mountain's next violent eruption. Number 4. The Ghost Ship of Northumberland Strait the ghost ship of Northumberland Strait is a phantom vessel purported to stalk the aquatic expanse of its namesake, being the Northumberland Strait, which separates Prince Edward Island from Nova Scotia and New Brunswick in Canada, that usually manifests as a beautiful and simultaneously terrifying golden white four-masted schooner, often ablaze, and whose appearance is rumored to act as an omen to encroaching storms. Historically, the ghost ship of Northumberland Strait was first documented in 1786 following a slew of sightings, and over time, as it grew in popularity, the vessel would be honored in countless novels, travel guides, songs, newspaper publications, and even on an official Canadian stamp. One more prominent encounter with this spectral craft would occur in 1900, when a group of sailors in Charlottetown documented spying a burning ship on the horizon, whose crew was desperately climbing her masts to escape a growing blaze. These brave sailors would immediately jump into action and row several boats out in an effort to save whoever they could. However, upon approaching the scene, the ship faded into the night, leaving all present in utter astonishment. Through the 1950s, residents of Glengarry would share similar accounts after a woman spotted a bright light in the distance over the water. The light approached just as she was joined by her husband and other onlookers, and it was plain to see the glow was emanating from a schooner that was fully engulfed in flames, yet somehow still moving at full tilt, that disappeared into the distance. Encounters with this mysterious and otherworldly vessel have continued into the present, and most recently, in 2008, a teenage local would report sighting its silhouette off the coast of Tatamaguchi. This supernatural craft has been known to appear at all times of the day as well as throughout the year, though sightings from dusk to nightfall are most common, and while skeptics argue the phenomenon is nothing more than a mirage, a fog bank reflection, or something like St. Elmo's fire, those who have been stood in stare as this legendary vessel glides silently past continue to argue that the ghost ship of Northumberland Strait is no story. Number 3. The Carol A. Deering 
The Carol A. Deering, which was discovered run aground near Cape Hatteras, North Carolina in 1921, with no crew aboard and no signs as to what happened to them, was a five-masted commercial schooner whose curious state upon her location has since inspired a wealth of maritime mysteries and local legends, ranging from claims of curses to fables surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. Historically, the Deering was first constructed in 1919 under the G.G. Deering Company out of Bath, Maine. She was named after the company owner's son and upon launch was considered one of the largest commercial sailing vessels of her type in the world. Sadly, the Carol A. Deering was only in service for around a year when it departed on what would become its final journey. On July 19th of 1920, the Deering would sail from Puerto Rico to Newport News, Virginia on a coal run, after which she would arrive in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil to deliver her cargo before departing on December 2nd of the same year. Following a brief supply stop in Barbados, the next sighting of the Deering would be documented on January 28th of 1921 by the Cape Lookout Lightship off North Carolina, whose keeper witnessed a strange scene in which one man aboard hailed him while the others wandered the quarterdeck, which crew members weren't usually allowed on. And on the following evening, another vessel would report past the Deering, which looked abandoned entirely. On January 31st of 1921, Cape Hatteras Coast Guards would spot the weathered vessel, ran aground with her sails at full right on the perimeter of Diamond Shoals, or more ominously dubbed the Graveyard of the Atlantic. When the Deering was boarded on February 4th of the same year, it was documented as clearly and mysteriously abandoned. After attempts to move or salvage the Deering failed, on March 4th, she was demolished by dynamite, and while investigations regarding her crew's disappearance were officially closed as inconclusive the following year in 1922, with standing theories ranging from storms to pirate attacks to rum runners or possibly even to a mutiny, over time, many connected to the case would begin leaning toward a supernatural culprit, and several would even use the fact that she'd passed through the Bermuda Triangle to support these speculations. To date, those venturing the old cargo vessel's last known route have reported sighting her ghostly form piercing the waters, and several nearing the former site of her grounding have described shocking instances in which they've turned for only moments to find a phantom version of the Carol A. Deering right where she landed so many years back that, upon closer inspection, fades from the visible spectrum. Number 2. The Chapel Cove Ghost Galleon the Chapel Cove Ghost Galleon is a spectral watercraft purported to manifest just off the coast of Chapel Cove, near Harbor, Maine in Newfoundland, that, according to folklore, skirts the waters searching for any foolish enough to seek out its buried treasure. Chillingly, those who have gone hunting for the riches supposedly left behind by the galleon's crew in life have reported being constantly harassed by the phantom vessel, and those on land have actually described harrowing instances in which spirits tied to the old ship have literally jumped from the deck and pursued them on foot over great lengths. The legend of the Chapel Cove ghost galleon starts way back through the 16th century, when it's told a couple called the Casemans constructed their cabin in the area, from which they would raise their children and form a family. Sadly, this legend furthers the tell of a vicious pirate attack that resulted in Mrs. Caseman and their two teenage daughters being taken as prizes. Though Mr. Caseman tried to fight back and even managed to kill one of the attacking pirates, he was ultimately slain and his family was never heard from again. While several attempted to reside at the old Caseman abode following, most were scared off by the disembodied sounds of weighty footsteps and strange cold patches, which many attributed to the lingering spirit of the pirate Mr. Caseman had managed to put down, and ultimately, the abode was demolished entirely. Through the 18th century, a local woman would construct a cabin in the area where she thought she would find peace and solitude. However, upon its completion, she began documenting objects found in odd places places and heavy bootsteps heard about. Eventually, several old-timers would inform her that she had constructed her home atop the site of the former Caseman residence. In 1895, three local men would set out in search of a chest full of treasure, which had supposedly been hidden near Chapel Cove by the privateers that plagued the region so long ago. It said this party actually managed to uncover the chest's location, but no sooner had their shovel struck metal when the ghostly galleon appeared in the harbor, sails at full and charged directly at them, resulting 
resulting in the terrified mortals retreat. In 1909, one Tom Campbell would spend countless hours tracking this fabled chest and would even purportedly uncover it. However, it's said that when he tried to pry it open, a loud noise emanated from the pit and a spectral form rose up from the darkness, grabbed his crowbar, and effortlessly snapped it in two, resulting in Campbell running for his life. Into the present, standing local legend tells a treasure chest loaded with unimaginable riches is hidden somewhere in the region. However, all who have gone looking for it have ended up turning right back around, with stories of disembodied footsteps stalking them, of run-ins with terrifying apparitions, of a constant sense of imminent danger, and of encounters with the fabled Chapel Cove Ghost Galleon itself. Number 1. The Urang Medan the SS Uring Medan is a legendary ghost ship which, through the 1940s, according to various stories, became trapped in the Strait of Malacca, out of the Dutch East Indies, near modern-day Indonesia, or possibly somewhere else entirely, after its crew died under mysterious circumstances. According to this fable and a jumble of obscure newspaper clippings, at some point in either 1940, 1947, or 1948, dependent on version, American vessels, the City of Baltimore, and the Silver Star, among others, would pick up a distress signal seemingly originating from the Dutch merchant vessel the Urang Medan. Chillingly, the Medan's Morse code operator would communicate the following, SOS from the Urang Medan, we float. All officers, including the captain, dead in charge room and on bridge, probably whole crew, dead. And then, following a series of unintelligible clicks, two simple words, I die, before complete silence. Even more perturbing, when the crew from the Silver Star finally located and boarded the Medan, which was completely undamaged, they would find its decks littered with corpses, including that of the ship's dog, all frozen in grotesque displays of fear and shock, most upturned to the sun, and not a single visible wound or observable cause of death. The Silver Star's captain would quickly issue orders to attach the Maidan in an effort to tow her back to the nearest port. However, before these orders could be carried out, a savage fire would break out within the grim vessel's cargo hold number four, forcing the boarding party to evacuate and preventing continued investigation of the scene. Fortunately, just making range, the star would then witness the Medan explode violently before sinking to the depths. The first documented telling of this unnervingly real-feeling sea tale can be found in the Dutch-Indonesian newspaper in 1948, and while the Silver Star isn't mentioned by name, the location where the Medan was supposedly discovered was around 400 nautical miles southeast of the Marshall Islands. Second and third accounts tell of a sole survivor from the Medan's crew, who was recovered by Italian missionaries and natives on Taungi Atoll in the Marshall Islands. It's said that this survivor told those present that the Uring Maidan had been carrying oil and vitriol that was improperly stored, and that the crew had perished to the deadly fumes, before himself expiring in the arms of his would-be rescuers. On October 10th of 1948, the Albany Times out of Albany, New York would reference the Maidan, and the grim vessel would again be inspected in May of 1952 in an issue of proceedings of the Merchant Marine Council under the U.S. Coast Guard. While this lethal watercraft has been featured in a range of works to date, to put a cherry on top of this already bizarre legend, in recent times it's been discovered that there is actually no record of any ship called the Uring Medan ever, and upon modern inspection of the Silver Star's logs, which are extensive to say the least, not a mark pertaining to the fabled rescue attempt can be found. Despite a lack of evidence, however, the legend of the Uring Medan has lived on into the present, with those traveling the area telling of encounters with its spectral form, which glides through the strait at an unnatural speed for a time, before gracefully diving below the waters. Taking its fascinating and infinitely curious history into account, and coupling it with a range of first-hand accounts and stories of encounters with its phantasmal likeness, we felt the legend of the SS Oring Medan was the most classically perfect sea fable to tie off this list of five real ghost ships. Thanks for joining us on our third list of five real and chilling ghost ships from across the world. If you enjoyed our histories and tales of terror, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll see you all next time.